satellite is what GPS stands for. So essentially, Greg, what happens is we have a number of devices now that look at 27 different satellites that are orbiting the Earth. And those 24 to 27 satellites give us our pinpointed location. We're only using about three to four of those satellites. But those satellites in space are what beams the signals down to these devices to help us with our longitude and latitude and ultimately our navigation. All right, so let's talk about the items now because many people are saying that this is a great system to get. In fact, yeah. many friends say if I don't get one this Christmas, they won't get back in my car. <laughs> so let's talk about price range. So is, wait, you're, you're the guy that doesn't want to stop and ask someone for directions, right? No, no Mario, I ask every three blocks. If I know, I'm, I'm directionally challenged. Okay, let's talk about price range. Is a hundred dollar system really going to help us if we get lost compared to the really expensive ones? Yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, you can buy the hundred dollar systems. You're going to be really bare bones. You'll be missing out on several features, but you will still have a screen that, at the end of the day, will show you if you are closer to the destination that you're trying to get to. One of the ones that I'm holding in my hands now, this is about 4.3 inch size screen. So this is a lot larger screen size. Um, something that you something that you can really see really clearly when you're when you're out and about and it, it's one of those devices that is more expensive but it does enable you to be able to have a better viewing of the overall destination that you're trying to get to so and this is more expensive so this is going to be in about the three to four hundred dollar price range versus something in the hundred dollar price range. All right let's start with <clears throat> let's take a look at something is that, is that the TomTom Tom 720 you got there? Yeah that is the TomTom Tom 720 that's right. All right so let's talk about the next one I understand it's the Garmin uh, Nuvi 200W. The Garmin Nuvi 200W. Here again, the reason why I've picked this, and this is on my gift guide, is because of the 4.3 inch size screen. It's really easy to see, portable, and the navigation on these systems are easy to use. What you want to worry about, Greg, when you're buying these devices are, can I use them? I mean, can I type in a street name? Can I type in an address? Will I be able to legibly understand the information that's being presented on the screen? So the larger the screen for more adults, the better the experience. I suppose now I live in Maryland, and I'm going to give, a, give it to a person in Maine. Uh, does it work up there? Is, is it, is it Great uh, question. state specific? Yeah, great question. All of these devices pretty much come preloaded with 48 states already in there, in their system. So, yes, you can buy it for someone in another state and they'll still have the same mapping. If, in fact, the device is behind or needs to update or there are new destinations that the device needs to add, you can always connect these devices to your computer and to the Internet to get the latest location information on the device. All right, so let me answer this question then. If we're looking at, is, is there another device you need to show us? Uh, no, other than, you know, it's funny you bring that up because the other thing that a lot of folks are now looking at is using their own cell phones. I mean, we have cell phones these days that now can also operate as navigational systems. So like this Verizon uh, Voyager that I'm holding here, you would pay for a subscription service, unlike the other GPS devices that are standalone, but you carry your mobile phone with you everywhere you go. So that's another option for people to think about if they don't want to make the step into a handheld device uh, on their own. You can look at adding an additional plan to your cell phone service if they have GPS devices. If they, if they have GPS. Yeah. Mario Armstrong, as always, want to thank you for joining us this morning. Sure, my pleasure. And if you'd like to learn more about our man Mario, check out a profile about him on nabj.org. I understand you are the magazine profile. Is that right? <laughs> I just heard about it this morning from you, so I didn't even know they ran it. Thanks, Greg. I'll have to look to see how it, how did it turn out? Did you read it? Uh, you know what? You, you, you come off smashing as always. Oh, okay. Great. All, All right. right see, talk to you soon. All right. Take care.